Hello there, and welcome to the series Topics in Audio Processing and Music Technology. I am Renato, the instructor for this series, and today we are going to talk about DDSP, or Differentiable Digital Signal Processing. So, the DDSP is a library of differentiable versions of common DSP functions, and it's part of the Magenta. So Magenta is an open source research project that explores the role of machine learning as a tool in the creative process. So you'll find more information about Magenta here at the magenta.tensorflow.org and you'll have some um, get started, studio, some demos. And here we are at the github.com slash magenta slash ddsp and here you'll find how to install the DDSP package and its dependencies. Also, you'll find some demos and some tutorials. So basically, on this tutorial today, we are just going to take a look into the DDSP to have an overview of um, what it is. And later, in next tutorials, we will explore more about the DDSP. So the DDSP library consists of uh, the modules. There is the core library and then a self-contained training library. So the core library splits into several modules. So we have the core with all the differentiable DSP functions. We have the processors that these are base classes for processor. I'm going to look what a processor is. We have synths, that they are processors that generate audio from network outputs. We have effects, processors that transform audio according to network outputs. We have losses, a collection of loss functions relevant to the DD application. And the spectral operations, a helper library of Fourier and related transforms. So the processor is the main object type. It inherits from the TFKL layer and can be used like any other differential model. Unlike other layer processors, such as synthesizer and effects, specifically format their inputs into controls that are physically meaningful. So for instance, a synthesizer might need to remove frequencies above the Nyquist frequency to avoid aliasing or to ensure that its amplitude are strictly positive. To this end, they have the methods get controls, controls get signal, signal, a call inputs signal, where inputs is a variable number of tensor arguments, so depending on the processor, and often outputs of a neural network. Controls is a dictionary of tensors scaled and constrained specifically for the processor. The signal is an output tensor usually audio or control signal for another processor. The processor group is when we want a group of processors. So the processors, they are just instances of a TFPL layer. You could use Python control flow as you would with any other differentiable module. Here we mentioned the TFKL layer. If you're not familiar with what is KF, a TFKL layer, you can go here to DDSP, DDSP processors here you see that the importance of flow as TF, the TFKL is the TF keras layers, and the class processor inherits from TFKL dot layer. Let's take a short look at the core. We have a library of functions for differentiable digital processing. P. We have some utility functions, make it terrible, dictionary, nested keys, map shape. Here we have some mathematics, safe divide, safe log. Very important one that avoid taking the log of a non-positive number. Log scale. Then we have some unit conversions, MIDI to Hertz, Hertz to MIDI. Unit. Hertz to park, unit to 
hertz, hertz to male, male to hertz. We also have some scaling functions. Frequencies sigmoid max, frequencies critical bands. We have a resampling. Sample with windows, and we have some uh, in conversion so sinusoidal to harmonics. Sinusoidal, we have a harmonic synthesizer. We move above my frequency, oscillator bank, get harmonic frequencies, frequencies. And we have a wavetable synthesizers. Time varying convolution. Some uh, filter design. Apply window to phones. Frequency phones. Ink. Ink impulse phones. Frequency filter. Computer, and these are the core functions. We already looked a bit in this processor blaze class. Get controls, get signal. There is the processor group and some spectral operations, library of FFP operations for loss functions and condition. Have the short time for here form. Both here is for tensor flow, computed in batch, and here a non differentiable for time for here transform using Librosa and use one example at a time. Compute magnitude, compute MEL, so calculate the MEL spectrogram, compute log mag, log MEL, compute MFCC, so we calculate the MEL frequency capture coefficients. Compute loudness, compute fundamental frequency F0, compute RMS energy, compute power, bed or trim to a expected length. So we have a bunch of spectral operations that can be very useful. So there is also here the original paper presented this differential digital signal processing so they explain that most generative models of audio they directly generate samples in time or in frequency it's not um, good enough because they do not utilize existing knowledge of how sound is generated and perceived and there is another approach with using vocoders or synthesizer that they successfully incorporate domain knowledge of signal processing perception, but so far is limited and difficult to integrate with the modern auto differentiation based machine learning methods. This paper they introduced the differentiable digital signal processing library that enables the direct integration of classic signal processing elements with deep learning methods. And here you can have PDF paper and they will go through library it's a very interesting paper I encourage you that read so you'll find everything you need to get started here at github.com slash magenta slash edsp find some demos tutorials modules relation overview of the processor and processor group and that's it for today. In the next tutorial, we will go through this demo. It's the timber transfer. So it's just a demo. There is no uh, explanation. But we will transform this timber transfer demo into a tutorial. And we will go deeper in looking at what you're doing and investigating this demo. See you next time.